just briefly, sort of not the not the bio, right? But like, yeah. tell us a little bit about how you ended up doing what you're doing, where you're at today. Yeah, yeah. You know, I my father, so interestingly enough, my father was a professional wrestler, just to throw that out there. And, yeah, it's um, in the book. It's in the book and it's it's quite a quite a story and he was quite a character. Um, I talk a little bit about him in that book and he passed away when I was 10 years old and his brother was a CEO and executive. And so after my father passed away, my uncle, uh, would take me with him on business trips and we would travel every summer. And so I really got to see kind of the, the, the professional wrestling world before my father passed away and how he treated people and his fans and kind of what that was all about. And after he passed, I got to see my uncle, who was a turnaround executive himself and leader and watched him and how he treated people and really embraced, you know, people as human beings first and employees second. And I learned a lot from him in, when I was traveling and uh, went to college, came out of college and went straight into corporate America doing mergers and acquisitions. And I learned pretty quickly that all those things that I had been taught by my father and my uh, uncle applied in the world that I was now in. And I was watching great leaders really run past the human side and kind of crushing the human spirit during these mergers and acquisitions as you bring two companies together and create what I call compression and fear. And so early on in my career, I was the one that kind of came back in to the individuals and try to reignite the spirit of the human being and bring the person back. And that's what created Red Shoes Living. We didn't call it Red Shoes Living back then. It wasn't until I got to the technology company that I ran where we actually called it Red Shoes Living. And there's a story behind that. But the premise of it was, is if we can keep the human spirit alive in business, we spend more than half of our life, you know, in our careers every day, um, then we can ignite human potential. And um, and that's that's hard work as a leader because you really have to spend a lot of time doing that. So that's where this all came from. And 30 years later, it's more important today than it was, you know, back then.